uh, I figured I'd uh, do some Minecraft since I just got done with Freddy's. Um, you're gonna immediately notice some differences. They're fairly minor. Um, I've got the startings of a cow farm over here. I've got uh, kind of the startings of a mining hut there. I started a fence over there. I uh, I fell. Um, this is my little tower. I was uh, if you saw the time lapse, then that's where that came from. I've got the pier that I said I would build over yonder, and I've actually uh, pretty much converted to this character. You'll also probably notice my arm is a little different. Um, that's because I uh, recovered my old skin back from my old actual Midnight Rain account, and um, yeah. Part of the problem is, is my other account is not a uh, Microsoft account, so it's going to go bye-bye pretty soon. Um, so I figured for the sake of the series, I'd switch over to my Microsoft account, which is Deepest Ring, um, which is close enough, I guess. But yeah, so today we're gonna do some general maintenance around the uh, around the homestead here. Probably gonna start working on uh, planning out some stuff. I meant to do that off camera, to be honest, but uh, that did not happen. Um, today's big goal is um, enchantment table. I'm fully leveled, preferably. I need a gate. Gatekeeper. Uh, I will warn you ahead of time. Ganon is in a mood. And that is mostly because I cleaned the fish tank and he did not get to see. Which he is upset about, to say the least. Um, excuse you. Goodbye, cow. I'm sorry. You may not live outside. You are inside for a reason. Okay. So today, what we're gonna be doing, like I said, is we're gonna be kinda planning out where we're gonna put stuff. How we're we gonna put stuff? When we're we gonna put stuff? That kind of thing. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. How you guys doing today? Having fun, I hope. Yeah? Cannon's having fun. He's actually very sad. Nobody knows why he's sad. He's just sad. Uh. As you'll see, I get a bunch of achievements. Yes, handsome. Yes, handsome. Yes, handsome. Come here. Come say hello to the people. Come here. Come here. Ciao. Okay, goodbye. He does not want to come here. He refuses. He says, Mom, no. Math or no. Okay, we could go mining a little bit more. That that would probably be acceptable. Um I can go in there. I can go in there for now. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Should've done this off camera. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some more iron because we're actually really low. I see. I uh. I made. I made a staircase down here, so it's a little bit easier to get down. I still am a big fall risk, but we'll. We'll. You know. We'll get. We'll. We'll cross the bridge when we come to it. Uh, we actually want to leave that there for now. So that I can escape. I did some of the building and stuff off off camera because I figured, you know, I brought an axe instead of a shovel. <sighs> um, I figured, you know, I I do like watching people's creative process from time to time, but it's kind of a drag, especially in the early stages of Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, you get me, you feel me. We're fine, we're fine. All right. Yes, handsome. I know you're there. You good boy. Why are you so needy this morning? It's actually almost lunchtime. That's probably his issue. You're the only reason I have views, buddy. I should do a kitty compilation soon. Actually, I haven't had that many- well, mm, kinda have. actually get rid of these now too because it's no longer supporting stairs so goals today planning iron um iron 
diamond if possible. You can see we're kind of starting to get towards caves and stuff, so that'll be nice. We're down at about Y38, which is about, uh, I think another, if everything is still the same, another 20 blocks or so to uh, diamond level. Ouch, hello, I love you. Those are little claws in mommy's leg. This is going to be an interesting day, apparently. You didn't pester me for all the rest of the morning. But, you know, now that Mommy's sitting down and talking to herself again. He probably does, does just want food. Let me sleep to skip the night. Yes, I know. You need a pause on my chair. Can you say, can you come say hello to the people before, before? Ha ha ha. See you guys in a second. Sure enough, that was my boy's uh, sincerest desire. He is now a content little kitty, purring happily. So what you guys do today? It's pretty early in the morning, I'm sure. I, I usually post these about nine in the morning. That's, I mean, most people are in school by then. <clears throat> Unless this goes up on a non-weekday, in which case, I hope your homework's done. Um, but yeah. I you might actually be able to see it behind me on the, the messy shelves. I actually did uh, some seed legging starting today. I planted um, German green tomatoes, uh, ground cherry tomatillas, pineapple. Um, let's see, and then I... Uh, chocolate bells. And then also uh, regular standard bell mix, I think. Oh, and uh, honeydew. So nothing, nothing super exciting, but for the time, it's it's gonna be the soon seasonal crops. I'm also planning on doing sunflowers and maybe trying to do quinoa. Maybe we'll see. Cause sunflower is actually a pretty tasty replacement for corn. Uh, if you got on that TikTok trend, um, from early last year, where you fry a sunflower head whole, dude, it is so good. If you get it early enough, you don't even, there's no, like, what do they call it? Toughness? Not toughness. I think it's, like, pithiness or something like that. The, the, the seeds aren't too woody for you to eat like that. I seasoned mine with olive oil and adobo. Because adobo is the superior seasoning. You have adobo and tagine and you can basically do anything you want. But yeah, so that was most of my day. Did some housework. I'm working on a possible solution for the mess behind me. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Still kind of a pending plan. As in, I was gonna buy either a trifold or a picture frame and chroma it out, see if that would work. I don't know how well Blender can do that kind of thing though, so we'll see. We'll see. Not too worried about it right now. I have 14 people and two of them watch anything, so. <laughs> so I am content in knowing that for the time being, I am under the noob shield. Alright, um. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What did I come up with? Uh, iron, because my pickaxe broke. I have one iron ingot left. So I am going to go ahead and make a few stone. Uh, a few stone pickaxes. No, I only need to make one because I can repair this one. I'm a fool. I'm going to take a crafting table down there though and put it somewhere. Alright, let's fix the iron pick, but we'll use the stone one. Stuff will go a little slower, but that's fine. Uh, come on, let me get a couple wheat here. Oh, it's raining. Uh oh. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't affect me very much because I'm in an acacia biome in a desert, so it's not like anything is going to spawn anyway. Alright, back down to the grind. Leave 
that. But yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited for spring gardening. Uh, I live in northeastern Ohio, so there's kind of a fine line I've got to walk right now. I could, today I probably could go out and, and leave the saplings out in the sun instead of this dark, dank apartment. But they're not grown yet, so they don't need it. And it's going to be cold tonight. We're in kind of that false spring sort of middle ground. It's late February, so we've got a couple 60 degree days, a couple, you know, 30 degree days. It is what it is. Look at all those things moving around in the desert. Oof. Are they in the desert or are they down below? Looks like some up, some down. There's caves and stuff down here for sure. I'm gonna put some torches over here because it is looking a little dark and dank. I think I have my brightness turned all the way up. So what are you guys doing for spring? Are you, are you planting any plants in? Are you just hoping to blow through school, get to, you know, Easter break? Although, you should have just had President's Day, so that four day weekend might have... If you're in the US, that would have been nice for you. Should still be caught up on your homework, though. Glad I found some coal. Coal is nice. That'd be helpful. But I wish there would be just a scooch more iron. Oh, so if you're watching this and you're interested in the Freddy series as well, the Freddy series uh, is going to be... There's there's not going to be very many more Freddy's 1 episodes. Um, basically, I'm going to do... Uh, kind of like I did with Night 5, I'm going to do a bunch of lightning rounds. Basically a compilation of my deaths. Oh, there is some more iron. Yay! Uh, a compilation of my deaths in a long episode, and then I'm going to probably have the end cap of that being the victory or, you know, me giving up. So, I do want to beat all the 20 modes. 4, 20, 10, 20. What? 1? 1? 20? We'll see how it goes. I hope those of you who have been watching have been enjoying the, you know, either the Freddy's or this. I keep talking myself down, but I keep I keep trying to tell myself uh, it doesn't really matter because I. <laughs> it's not like I'm I'm trying to be Markiplier or anything, even though I jokingly wear the flannel when I'm uh, playing Freddy's. I'm not trying to be anybody, and I'm definitely not trying to like gain their fame or anything like that. I'm just I'm honestly here to have fun. This is the first time in literally like five years I've actually enjoyed playing video games that I own. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm doing good commentary or not. What do you guys think? I'm getting no feedback. But yeah, I hope... Yeah. I hope you guys are having fun. I actually really do enjoy doing this. I'm probably gonna do it even if people say that it's, you know crap content, but eh. It'll get better with time, I'm sure. As I learn, as I grow, as I develop. I will be focusing uh, quite a bit more on the UE4 stuff, though. I've been trying to figure out how to do Blender, um, obviously. Uh, be it movie development or what have you. Um, just to get the controls and stuff down a little bit. Because I do want to do my own... I'll, I'll set out a kind of like a tutorial series at some point. Because honestly the best way to learn is to teach. And I have learned quite a bit more than I thought I would uh, so far. But yeah. So that's, that's something to look forward to if you're into that. Pickaxe broken. Pay attention, Green. 
Stop talking. Stop rambling. So we'll get down towards Y16 and then we will put down kind of a base camp, I think, alright? I'll see you guys when I get down there, though. Ooh, we found something shiny on the way down. This is an XP orb, it, uh, er, yeah, basically, it's, um, it's an ore that will give you experience, but if we, oh, is that, there we go. We scoop this bad boy up and we look at its uses, right? This thing, okay? You combine it with anything with a durability bar and it becomes infinite durability. Completely unbreakable. It's excellent! I'm starting to realize this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm tired of sitting alone. <laughs> so hi guys! Made it down quite a few layers. Uh, apparently I can't harvest that with the stone pick. Let's start with some of this cobble. Figured I'd gabble on about uh, about the uh, game design a little bit more. Um, I know last time I kind of talked a little bit about Porcel Code. Um, I've pretty much decided to, if um, it comes to the point where I if I decide not to release the game, or if I don't get far enough in it to be- if it doesn't match my vision, so to speak. Oh, well, I had my hand off the wrong key. Um, then I might just release Porcel as a code for anybody who's making like an ARG or whatever to use. It's not difficult. Um, the only problem is, is you'd have to use you, excuse me, you'd have to do like your own assets and stuff for it as a concept, you know, it's it's pretty simple, but Okay, I am picking it up. I was baffled for a second. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Uh let's see. I think I talked about Rue and On in another episode. That's basically the plot device that moves things forward. Um, if you consider Rue and On together as uh, kind of remnant from the Freddy series, Spirit Juice, you could, you could consider it that way. Um, I'm probably going to describe it as memories. Uh, but so there's Rue and On, good and bad, bad and good, whichever way around it is. Um, I think I explained some of that. Uh, and then there's, so the magic, I think I'm gonna do, so I know I want fire, water, lightning. Lightning I want to do my own sound effects for. I want it to sound like, I want, so I want the movements to be very jagged, rigid, you know. When you cast a spell, your character moves only in right angles, basically. Uh, and I want it to sound like if you've ever heard hematite magnets clicking together. I want it to sound like that. Instead of your usual thunder burst type spell. Um, fire, we'll see. Water, we'll see. I actually need to break those. Um... Oh, I, I didn't realize I uncovered some more iron, too. Yay! Excellent! Um... Jeez. Um, I was kind of thinking of an air and an earth to kind of wrap out the core four that everybody has, but at the same time... Because as it is, water is going to be kind of a puzzle solving. It's mostly going to do physical... physics interaction damage, so to speak. Um, fire is probably going to be the main melee, but I don't want, like I said the last time, I don't really want, I don't want the player to lean that heavily on their own. I don't know if I talked about the finishers, uh, Breath of the Wild style, I think I did. Um, but I kind of want those to be, I, I kind of want magic to be 
not barred off. It's still there as an option if you really want to do it. If you're determined and looking for lore. <clears throat> but I don't think I want to expand the system beyond what I can what I can do. Uh, fire would be very easily easy to make, you know, an easily blocked, but, you know, pretty mid-range damage move. Water would be almost no damage, but pretty good at puzzle solving. And lightning would be reckless type magic. Uh, lots of damage. Really fast. Break the world type stuff. Um, oh, I do want to talk about kind of anti-cheat measures, though. Because the whole, the part of the plot is going to be that, uh, Spoilers. Part of the plot is going to be that. So, because. And if I actually do the ARG style puzzle type uh, game trailers, you'll kind of see some of this. Um, Mr. Anderson the Dragon actually has kind of a part in designing the game in canon. So, his character knows that he's in a game. So, there's going to be a little. I'm going to try and build it, build the world. So that in the uh, outside space of the world, there's these planes that you hit, and it'll be like a Venus flytrap. The lower level you are, the less it affects you. But because Mr. Anderson can't find you as easily, but or isn't worried about you, however, it ends up working out in the story. But um, basically, if you so when you hit one of these collision planes, um, it starts a t it it basically puts a tally against you. And when you hit another one, it puts another tally against you. Um, and you'll start to see uh, Mr. Han Anderson's big black hole eyes kind of just taking up the whole screen. And then, uh, so I want it to be higher number of levels, or higher number of collision planes hit at lower levels, and a higher number, or a lower number at higher levels. So basically, the stronger you are, the less time you can spend out of bounds. But basically, you hit enough of the planes and you get instantly teleported back in bounds. Because I do want to let people explore and speedrun and stuff, because I love watching people break games like Security Breach or Poppy Playtime or any of those. Oh, hello, friend creeper. Look at that. I I managed to quarry mine straight into a big old cave. Hi down there, friend. Alright. So much for getting to Y16, eh? Smack. 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 I think this is our first mob since the beginning. Yeah! Well, it's this character's first mob anyway. Oh boy, it really is just... Hey, look at that. <laughs> I am not prepared for this. We know how well I do with caves. <laughs> I will take this slow, don't worry. I'm not gonna throw out this run right after I switched characters. Because then I'd have to switch back until Kai unbanned this one. But yeah, so that that's going to be a thing. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do... Um, I think Maverick is somehow going to be involved in my anti-cheat. Because I'm sure I'll leave console commands or something in there like that. Because Maverick's kind of already as it is the... Well, you don't have to follow all the rules. Just don't hurt anybody kind of thing. Um, she's already kind of that type of person. Rules are made to be broken. Um, let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna hide, so my dev room, I'm planning, when I do the tutorials, basically what I'm planning on doing is building a FNAF fan game in my own workplace. Because <laughs> nightmares be nightmares. Um, but I think I'm going to hide that kind of dev room somewhere, either out of bounds or in, in like an arcade cabinet or something. I don't know if I want to put any reward or not in that. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I do, can, will Quirk let me do under this block? No. I apologize if you can hear my fish tank making weird noises. I just did maintenance, so the filter's acting a little funky. I apologize. There. Okay. At least I have a staircase now. We are pretty close to Y16, so I could just go ahead and put a base here. But I do ca actually, why don't we just make it down to the bottom of this cave? At least as best we can. And then we'll um we'll put the base camp there and we'll call it an episode. Oh, I hear the zombies are coming. Cause this will give us a truly uh, a, a solid spot for um mining expeditions. Actually knowing a cave is here is is pretty key. Oh. And it looks like I'm gonna have to throw out some more couple. Actually let's throw out the seeds. We'll throw out that too. Okay. But yeah, so I have I have I have creative plan type things going on. Um I think I already talked about most of the areas. Uh... Oop, 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 we're being shot at. Leave. Oh, I see you. But you can no longer see me, friend. You gonna come around and try and smack me? That'd be rude. I'm trying to be as careful about this as I can. I really don't want to die in a cave again. I've come so far. I have cows. They won't survive without me. They'll do fine without me, I know that. I should probably go back up top, actually, honestly. I have iron to make. I could start to kit out. We are at Y16. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I'll finish I'll finish carving out this layer and then I'll head back up top and we'll call it there. I won't do any off-camera work in the mines, uh, just in case I manage to kill myself again. But yeah. Plans change, friends. Plans change. All right, let's call that a tactical retreat. There are a couple of blank spots I wanna try and fill out, but we'll see, we'll see. Because I've got two residential districts planned, kind of, sort of. Um. I have kind of a shopping district sort of kind of planned. Don't ask me what people are gonna shop for in an amusement park other than souvenirs, but well no, okay, so because because uh Featherland is supposed to be entirely self sufficient, there are a good portion of things to get at stores. Your basic resources, etc. etc. Uh, you wanna give me another piece of wheat there, friends? We'll- we'll, uh, smack some cows real quick. Oh, good. Uh, one of the babies got stuck up here. See, the whole idea behind this is the, um... I'm sure you've seen this kind of farm before. The grown-ups stay up top. You breed them up top, the babies are small enough they fall through the fences. And then they grow up down here. That's not incredibly efficient, but it's it's handy. So, all right, you know, 
go ahead and get my haul of veggies. And then I will go ahead and call it that. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. I dug a hole, <laughs> which is all Minecraft is. <laughs> uh, next episode we'll see uh, if we can't get a little bit more done, if we can't get that base camp built downstairs, um, if we can't uh, really, really get going on this, because I feel like we've been kind of hitting the same spot and then dying a lot lately. So, here. I'll even... I'll stay here long enough to show you guys the first piece of armor. Yeah! Not gonna put it on right yet though. Cause uh, yeah. I wanna make sure stuff's enchanted. Um, here I'll even do that. Obsidian. We'll, we'll build, uh, we'll, we'll build our table here. Let's make some more books. That's actually not bad. Uh, let me go ahead and get some, uh, some, uh, some, some wood. That's not where that goes. Those go there. That goes like so. Sweet! And then... These make some bookshelves. Here. This is what this little outbuilding is for. Put that right. Uh, I did not build this well. Right there. Right there is fine. You got any crafting or er, enchanting table mods? Nope. Okay. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching again. Uh, for real this time. I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.